A farewell ode to Brian Lythe. Brian's departure needs a poem of length, one which matches his substance, his talents, his strength. It's so important that we appointed the first advisor dedicated full-time to international students at the University of Auckland in 1972. We're just recently wishing farewell to Brian Leith, who's retiring after 44 years of service. His dedication is a model for all of us. I miss the student life because students are so positive. I mean, I love students because they don't muck around. When they come in to see you about something, they don't hang around about it, they tell you exactly what it is, so you know straight away what you're dealing with, and then we get on to it, because I strongly advocate for students, and I'll miss all of the involvement with students, but I'll replace it with 115,000 voters out in the west of Auckland, and 100,000 bees and 400 fruit trees. <laughs> He'll support and assist you, and never will fail, to be honest, outspoken, principled, fair, he embodies the practice of pastoral care. I can't think of anybody in New Zealand who has made a contribution of that duration or that scale to the pastoral care of those students and therefore to their probability of success. I frequently travel to the developing countries where the New Zealand aid program is offered and one of the great pleasures is to meet our graduates. And the first thing people ask me is, how's Uncle Brian? And the second thing they tell me are the stories of how Brian made such a difference to their experience. He'll find you a flat, a fridge and a bed. He's generous, thoughtful, he's funny, he's red. Brian has been one person who has been pivotal in my journey here in New Zealand. We call him like a Santa Claus because he is really generous. Well, for me, Brian is the best. And the reason I say that because he's the most helpful and approachable um, person that I have ever met. I would say Brian is a yes person because he provided to me at any time, anything. He's always ready to help students. He never says, I'm busy, come back later. He's always ready and he always has solutions. Awesome is uh, perhaps an understatement and uh, I want to describe Brian and all those fantastic efforts he made for us all. In the first day I met him, he served me a coffee, Outlander style of coffee. And then it's not about the taste, but about smile and fatherhood. So I feel like it's very, how do you call it, very touching. And he just grabbed me by the arm and said, we have to get your bank set up and we have to get your books and how's um, the place you're living, are you all set up? And just him being so nice and so helpful and so worried that everything was set up okay. He gave me some tips on schoolings that I don't have to be worried that it's a TSI 1 or TSI 10 school. It's all the same in New Zealand, every, every school is good. So it's just very reassuring and make things easy. Anytime I needed help and I would just email him and then he said come to my office and talk to me about anything and then all, everything was fine. He gave me a sense of welcoming before I came to New Zealand. He emailed to me and he introduced New Zealand cultures and, and I, was, I, I felt so welcoming before I came so I felt this the best part of me with Brian. He was more of a fatherly figure, always there when things were down, looking gloomy. I, sometimes I'm thinking of packing up, coming back to Port Mosby. So said, that's fine, don't worry. Starting from trivial things like, oh, I need roommate to big problem, like, oh, I think I cannot make it this exam. He always have the solution. If it wasn't for him, I would be back home already then and wouldn't finish my master's. Everything from making sure that I was all right to making sure that I had my studies and my um, uh, teachers all in order, he was there. So the support he gave to me and the support that this university gave to me was tremendous and I, I can't imagine him leaving. I remember he talked about his farming, he talked about his grandchildren and I love that so much because it's I feel it's quite personal that he shared all his uh, story with me. So um, yeah, he, he, he's, like, uh, he's like my grandfather actually. So uh, I love him so much. I mean like when I have difficulty in academic, he helped me too. 
and then you know I've never cried in front of the people but last time I cried in front of the Brian you know I mean like it's like father is like I don't know I can open with him anything I can talk to him it's me that gets the greatest sort of nourishment and fulfillment from knowing them because the student questions are pretty much the same a place to live sorting out my study, money to pay for things, friends to enjoy. For me, I want to know what's going on in Timor, or what's going on in Afghanistan, or what's going on in Peru, or what's going on in Brazil. Like, just now there's a big issues in Brazil. So a student came in yesterday, I said, give me a tutorial on what's happening there. So I always say, and I mean it, that I'm the person who benefits most, because the television can show you bombs being thrown and things being exploded. But it doesn't tell you always, or very often, the story behind that. The students will give you the story behind that. So my life is enriched because of what they can tell me. Brian, thanks a lot for being there for me, both when I was an international student and now being employed in an international office, being part of your family. Brian, worked with you for 10 years. It's been a wonderful experience. Loved working with you all the time. Loved your knack for working around the system, which has sometimes caused me a, a few shivers, but has been fantastic. We'll really, really miss you and wish you all the best. Lots of love. Brian, one of the things that I love about you is that nothing is ever too much trouble for you. We're going to miss you. So I wanted to thank you for that contribution. It is really quite extraordinary to spend almost the whole of your working life making that contribution. We are very grateful for everything that you have done for the university. Thank you, um, Brian, thank you so much um, for being there for me as a student, as a staff, and give me the encouragement that I need. I'm privileged to, to know you, um, and I'm thankful for the long years that i worked with you. I think one of the greatest things I've learned from you is never say never, don't say it can't be done. There's always a way to do something. Brian, you will be sorely missed and especially I will now lose my buddy who I can, whom I can hassle Sue with. Your smile and how happy you were all the time just to sit down for a chat and all the times you helped us all out and I just wanted to say thank you so much. I do hope to see you again very soon and um, please visit Myanmar if you, if you do have a chance. I'll be here with you. Thank you so much, Brian, again. Uh, Brian, uh, terima kasih banyak sudah mem memberi dukungan kepada kami, memberi support kepada kami. Terima kasih banyak. Thank you so much, Brian. I can do anything for you. Only praying for you and your family. Have a long life, have a good success in your life, and always be blessing for other people. Thank you, Brian. We love you, we care for you. Um, it's been such a great experience getting to know you. Thank you so much. As I said, words fail to say how much we thank you and we love you so much. Yeah, Brian. Enjoy your retirement. Happy retirement, one talk. I really miss you and love you so much. Go well to retirement. We send you with care. You'll be missed and remembered by all gathered here and indeed elsewhere.